Do you feel it? The chill in the air? Why, it's almost unseasonable. One might even venture to call it prehistoric. Oh, <laughs> you see what I've done there, don't you? Let's welcome Sid. Rather unusual having these particular flightless birds roaming about the kingdom. Not only are they quite extinct, as of the present day, in my day they haven't even been discovered yet. Either way, they're hardly better off here than they would be wherever they came from. So, shoo shoo! Let's clear away todos! That was some earthquake, huh, guys? Guys, many, Diego, ah, nuts. Okay, so taking stock of things, here I am, having just woken up, face down in the snowbank at, yep, the base of Half Peak. As opposed to, for example, the middle of Half Peak, which many Diego and I just spent half a day climbing up to. <laughs> Honestly, with all our hurt spin through, caught in an avalanche isn't all that bad. At least it isn't dinosaurs. And I probably just jinxed myself saying that out loud. Let me go find the guys before I get stomped on by something. Let's send Sid to get a move on. Okay, me setting up a pre-arranged rendezvous point for the three of us to meet up at, if we get separated, genius. Me setting it so far up the mountain, when there's three feet of fresh avalanche snow covering every decent trail there, less genius. In fact, I can say with some confidence, moderately intelligent at best. If Manny was here, I'd probably ask if he could give me a ride. I'd be the first to tell you, Half Peak wouldn't normally have been my first choice of travel destination. But with Peach has just come into the world and all, Manny's been thinking about the safest place to raise her. And hey, if this whole area was good enough for that human herd to raise a human baby, why not a mammoth baby too? Yeah, just gonna add unexpected ground instability to the old mental pro and con list before I move on ahead here. Let's send Sid to attempt to light a torch. Lighting a torch to melt some of the snow or maybe see where I'm going a little better. Go! Or uh, not go nuts. And here I thought a 37th time rubbing these two sticks together would be the charm. Turns out, just cause you're fire king doesn't mean you're guaranteed a 100% success rate. Know what? Who needs fire anyway? Mammals like me, we get by with the fur on our backs, a can-do attitude, and a <gasps> and the discount orienteering course fast Tony sold me last spring. I knew this place looked familiar. This way, let's build ice slide caverns.
Het is een baby scratch to abscond with the acorn. See, that's the end to those loopy doopy ice tunnels we spent like 10 straight minutes careening down that one time. <laughs> good times, terrifying but good. I mean, Diego had fun, so that's not nothing. Anywho, if I shortcut through these beauties, I should make it to the meetup spot in no time. Boy, is that a relief. Being stuck down here was really making me resentful of whatever it was that caused that avalanche. <laughs> you? Well, that's enough theorizing about what to possibly blame this natural disaster on. Probably just tectonics or whatever. Besides, what am I wasting my time out here for? When I should be sliding gracefully down a series of ice tubes. Let's then sit to brave the ice slide caverns. So uh, this is, it turns out, this is the bottom entrance to the series of ice tubes. Yep. Anyone know how to jury rig a climbing harness and pitons out of vines and twigs and such? Well, if there's any consolation for having to spend a whole afternoon hiking backwards up an ice slide, it's that when I get to the top, my friends are gonna be waiting for me. And like I said before, possibly willing to carry me the rest of the way. I'll be very tired. Let's welcome Diego. Zeke, so help me if you chew on my ear one more time. I'll... And I'm awake. Phew, wouldn't wish dreaming about my old co-workers on my worst. Uh, whoa, this situation is... Not significantly better than the one I was just having a nightmare about. I mean, Zeke was a real piece of work, but at least he wasn't an avalanche. Alright, we planned for this. I've got a meter point to find and the best tracking skills this side of Glacier Pass. It might take me most of the day to make it there, but I'm ready to knuckle up and put in the legwork. Let's send Diego to track down the meetup point. Yeah, the meetup point was around 10 feet from where I started. Is it weird that this kind of feels like a letdown? Well, many ends it aren't here yet, which means I've got some time to kill. So, may as well grab some should I, right? The purposeful kind. I mean, not the check yourself for a concussion kind I was up to recently. There's a difference. Let's send Diego to take a catnap.
Diego, Diego, hey Diego, look, I can keep poking you with this stick all day, or I can... <sighs> wow, this is the worst nightmare I've had all day, and I've had a couple. <laughs> nice to see you too, wise kitty. Don't mention it. So, did you manage to track down many too, or what? So, about many, I take it from your question, he's not here with you. Like, behind an uncommonly huge rock or something? No. And I'm not sure I like where this line of questioning is going. Oof, me neither. The good news is, I have a decent ID where he's ended up. The bad news... Let's build the Lava Kaiser Lounge. A lava field? Really? Yep. I saw it on my way here. The earthquake must have opened up a couple of fissures in the earth's crust or what have you. My guess is, Manny's ended up on the other side of it from us. It's pretty much the only thing that could slow him down. No, no, that completely makes sense. What I should have said is more like, a lava field? Really? Again? Hey, be fair, one time it was just a field of dangerous volcanic gases. Though we do have more magma adjacent adventures than I'd expect on average, yes. <sighs> right, if Manny can't come to us, we're just gonna have to go to him. Yeah, that's the spirit. And just to check, that does imply a certain amount of walking through the lava field, right? Yes it. Yes it does. Ah, curse my effortless mastery of subtext. Let's send Sid and Diego to break the lava geyser. Okay, change of plans. When I said, let's walk through the lava field to get many, or words to that effect, yes? Right, I should have said, let's have Sid walk through the lava field to get many, while Diego finds another way around. Before hard experience tells us that several key rocks in said lava field can't support Diego's full weight. Yeah, really wished we'd made that plan change sooner. Ah, don't worry buddy, that fur will grow back eventually. Know what, you go on and detour through the ice caves. The cold will do you good, I'll meet you on the other side. Good call, be a decent chance to do a little balance training while I'm at it. You know me, I never skip hind legs day. Let's send Sid to re-brave the lava geyser and let's send Diego to detour through the ice caverns. obsidian and skip on over to the rock that isn't actively on fire. Boy, I really envy Diego right now. Compared to jumping across a lava flow, those ice caves seem positively. Hey, why didn't I just go through the ice caves with him? And why did I only realize I could have done that when I was already halfway across the lava? Well, as inconveniently toasty as this situation is, I'm gonna choose to look on the bright side. It could be worse. Yeah, I could've... 
I don't know, just had my most prized possession stolen by uh, my recently adopted son? Whoa, some unusually specific imagination I've got today. Good for me. Let's welcome Scrat. Let's send Scrat to search for the acorn. Diego, you get across okay, buddy? Diego! Yes, it, I can hear you. I'm over here by the by the ice chunk that keeps getting blown out of the lava. Gotcha. Uh, can you be more specific? Oh, of all the... I'm the only saber within a hundred yards. And the only one yelling at you. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna pick a direction and start walking. Let's send Sid and Diego to find each other by the lava. Woo! Finally! But, you know, the next time this sort of thing happens, we should really try Marco Polo or something. Yeah, I have no idea what that is, Sid. Not what? Who? You know, Marco and Polo? That one pair of Glyptodon kids that are really good at hide and seek. Oh, they've got all sorts of secret finding each other techniques for us to crib off of. Believe me. Granted, it's mostly yelling each other's names real loud. But hey, don't knock success. Sweet mother of Macrokenia. Hold everything! Manny, is that you over there? Oh, of all the... Who else could it be? I'm the only mammoth on this entire mountain and the only one yelling at you! Wow, bad case of deja vu right there, wild! Okay, just not that you have any choice about it, but stay right there. Diego and me are gonna figure something out. Okay, okay, the back half of the plan is still kind of in progress, but I think I formulated a promising first step here. And that is, whatever you do, do not step onto the teeny weeny extremely melty looking ice bridge directly in front of you. Whoa, thanks Mr. Brain Genius. Excuse me while I take a moment to be awed by that pearl of wisdom. Jeez, thanks Manny. I do have that effect on mammals, don't I? Oh wait, that was sarcasm. Yet again I curse my mastery of subtext. Look Sid, I appreciate the instinct, but shouting encouragements at Manny from over here is only gonna get us so far. I mean, the lava in that canyon isn't getting any lower, so... The lava in that... <gasps> Diego, that's it! Follow me, I got an actual honest-to-goodness idea. 
Let's send Sid and Diego to return to the Lava Geyser. See, the lava in this field over here is connected to the canyon many trapped in there. It's like a, an overflow thingy. So if we can dump some big rocks or whatever in the right places to get more of the lava to flow over here, we can get less of it to flow through the canyon where Manny is, so it will be safer for him to cross. Wow, anyone ever tell you you're marginally smarter than you look, Sid? Infrequently. But I take my compliments when I can get them, so thanks! Now, I got one caveat here which, as amazing as that plan I just mentioned is, it does involve moving heavy rocks. And you see these arms, Diego? These are what is scientifically known as noodle arms. You get where I'm going with this? Yeah, good call. You go update Manny on what we're doing, I'll handle the heavy lifting from here. Let's send Diego and Scrat to the lava geyser. Come on! Shoo! Shoo! You wanna get eaten? To you! Because I have not had lunch yet. <sighs> Shoving a bunch of boulders around is hard enough without whatever those two rodents are doing getting in the way. And maybe this is just me, but why does that twitchy looking one seem so familiar? Maybe Sid's deja vu is contagious, who knows? Hey Sid, you're up. There's mostly just gravel to fill in the cracks left, so I figured you might want to do the honors. Aw, oh, thanks! Your acknowledgement of both my helpful spirit and my maximum weight capacity is much appreciated. Don't mention it, but hey, watch out for surprise quarrel fights underfoot. That whole area's got one weird pest problem. Let's send Scrat and Sid to the lava geyser. Okay, Manny, I got a project update for ya. What with the ambient temperature coming down? The teeny weeny ice bridge I mentioned before is gonna be safe for you to cross over. Uh, imminently. Well, okay, now we're getting some. Wait, how imminently is imminently? Like, imminently now or. No, 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 not now. Not that kind of imminently. Imminently explicitly not now. Imminently soon. Not exactly filling me with confidence here, Sid.
Look, all I'm saying is, if you'd learn to tell time from the sun like I've repeatedly told you to, then not only would you not be late every time we meet for lunch, but you'd also be able to give me an accurate estimate of... Ooh, ooh, imminently now, imminently now! Ah, alright, alright, I'm going! <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I shout when I get nervous. And you did it! Oh, Manny, I'm so glad you're safe. Bring it in, pal. Right here, any minute now. <laughs> Let's welcome Manny. And there we go. Wow, that might have been the longest anyone's ever taken to bring anything in. Ah, uh, lay off, will you? I had a leg cramp from standing still on that ice thing for so long. Besides, you could have just walked over to me if you wanted. You were like 10 feet away. Ah, look at us. The three original Herties all back together again and not being menaced by natural disasters. Yeah. Good to have you back on dry land, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. But with all we've been through today, I realize I never actually got around to scouting this place for whether or not Ellie and I should raise beaches here. So, if you don't mind, let's send Manny to scout around. Yeah, that's absolutely a hundred percent a no. And yes, I realize I was only looking around for about five minutes, but come on, lava flows, earthquakes, avalanches. I mean, if any of that screams child safe to you, you're... Well, I wouldn't hire you to babysit anytime soon. Parenting's hard enough without geology turning against you is all I'm saying. Hey, watch where you're scampering, you... And off he goes. <laughs> Figures. This mountain's so stressful to be around, even the squirrels are all twitchy. Anyway, I'd better head back to Sid and Diego. It's gonna take a while to get back home, even if we start now. Let's send Sid and Diego to meet at the Lava Geyser and let's send Scrat and Manny to visit the Lava Geyser. I see, I see. That is a very persuasive argument for leaving right now, Manny. Well stated. <sighs> Sensing a butt here. But, counterpoint, what if we stayed for just a little while longer to help your buddy sit out with a new personal project? After all, this place might not work as a daycare, but with a little spiffing up, I think it'd make a great adventure park. I mean, speaking from experience, some of those geological features are awful fun to write. 